Hi, this video will show you how to use linearity property to find inverse Laplace transform of function. First, we must understand what do we mean by linearity property. Suppose I have two functions f of s and g of s and a and B are real number. Now, the inverse Laplace transform of A times F of S plus B times G of S is equal to A times inverse Laplace transform of F of S plus B time inverse Laplace transform of G of S. This is what we mean by linearity property. To illustrate the linearity property, I'm going to go through three examples. Example 1. Inverse Laplace transform of 2 over 5S minus 3 over s squared. By using the linearity property, this is equal to 2 over 5 times inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus 3 times inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s squared. After we take out the constant factor, then we use a table. Laplace transform of 1 is 1 over s. Therefore, inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s is 1. And then minus, we know that Laplace transform of t power n is n factorial over s power n plus 1. Therefore, Laplace transform of t is 1 factorial over s power 2, which is 1 over s squared. Therefore, inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s squared is t. So, the final answer for this example is 2 over 5 minus 3t. Example 2. Inverse Laplace transform of 5 over 2s minus 5 plus s over s squared plus 4. By using the linearity, this is equal to the inverse Laplace transform of 5 over 2s minus 5 plus the inverse Laplace transform of s over s squared plus 4. Now, for the first term, you can rewrite as 5 times inverse Laplace transform of 1 over 2 times s minus 5 over 2. And the second term, which you can check the table, is equal to cosine 2t. Since a squared is equal to 4, and so a is equal to 2. And then, for the first term, you factor out the half, I have 1 over s minus 5 over 2, and we take the inverse Laplace transform from the table is e power 5 over 2t.
Therefore, the final answer will be 5 over 2 times e power 5 over 2t plus cosine 2t. The third example will be inverse Laplace transform of 2s plus 4 over x squared plus 3. This is equal to the inverse Laplace transform of 2s over x squared plus 3 plus 4 over x squared plus 3. By using the linearity, this is equal to 2 times the inverse Laplace transform of s over s square plus square root 3 square. Since we know 3 is equal to square root 3. And then plus 4 times the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s square plus square root 3 square. As I mentioned earlier, square root 3 square is equal to 3. Now we look at the first term, which is equal to s over s square plus a square. Therefore, the answer for the first term is equal to 2 times cosine square root 3 t. As for the second term, we are going to use the formula a over s square plus a square. However, a equal to square root 3. Therefore, we need to do an adjustment. That means that I change the 1 to square root 3 over s square plus square root 3 square and then and divide by square root 3 again to balance it. And now the second term from the table is sine square root 3 t. Therefore the final answer will be 2 times cosine square root 3 t plus 4 over square root 3 sine square root 3 t. That is the end of the example on linearity.